So now, Mr. LeVar Oliver, mm -hmm. my trusted assistant. You know, I try. I, uh, I sent you out as a volunteer for Mr. Greg Singer, mm -hmm. who's one of the finalists at WGBH, and I'd like for you to tell me exactly what happened when you caught up with Mr. Singer and the people that were his, needing him around Hoboken, documenting right. Hoboken nightlife. Okay, well, you said I, you sent me out to meet Greg. So I, I, I because I felt bad, I'd run out right. of energy, and right? I had no problem. It seemed like he would probably be, be a you know a nice guy to hang out with and do some video work with. So I'm walking along the street, listening to my iPod, trying to you know just weave around the crowds of drunken people about the streets, and I couldn't see him. So I stopped two girls and asked them you know if they had seen a guy with a camera walk by, and they said yeah, of course you know he's right down there, and you know of course they complimented me, but who wouldn't? But anyway, <laughs> so. Uh, I kept following him down the block. I still didn't see him because he's a small guy with a big camera. But I did see the group that he was with. So when I met up with him, I just, you know, slightly said, well, you know, Greg, how you doing? And he had to put down the camera. However, before he could put down the camera, his little mic-toting troll now, wait, 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 henchmen. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, I was there with him and I, mm -hmm. he was all alone. So whoever you're describing uh, so would you like might, it might have been the long-haired musician who said to him a few minutes earlier, would you like to follow me around Hoboken? Well, I know his name was Wilmer. I don't really know. He was, I guess, Mexican, a little shorter than me, right. dark hair and a ponytail. R right, right. Um, pretty squat, I right, guess if you right. say that. So, uh, so but, but I mean, he, he was just... Greg had just decided to follow him. I just right. want to make that division. Exactly. So he had I, become, I don't want to reflect He had on become Greg. sort of the host, if, okay. you, if you want to say. Because <laughs> when you're a one-man cameraman, you go out and people take over right. the microphone and you let them well, of course, interview no, it's others, not his. Right? It wasn't Wilma's project. It was Greg's project, of course. But right. he had become no, no, kind but it, of... No, I'm saying is it was... It wasn't really... Greg, Greg was not in control. He had, uh, had decided... Right. He believes in letting people, he believes in letting life act right, out right. itself act in front of his no, camera. I, I okay, I so go, the so let's get that out of the way and then just go <laughs> on, okay. So, uh, like I said, before Greg could put down the camera, I guess he took me as just a passerby trying to get on film, Wilmer, Wilmer the guy with the mic, and he said, oh, no freaks allowed. Which didn't hurt my feelings, because sometimes I'm No, no, freakish. no, I'm looking at you, uh, I mean... Why would someone say no freaks? What was freaky about you? Well, I thought he, I, I think he meant in, in light of gay. Um, that's what I'm assuming, because like, like you said, there's nothing really Could freaky. Could that be paranoid? Freakish about I mean, because I, 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 well, I, I, my, I, don't, I, my appearance doesn't seem really that freakish. I don't think I could join the circus wearing this outfit. <laughs> and I don't think that most people would look at you and say, oh, there's a homo. Oh, no, darling. <laughs> got there. <laughs> really? Even the two girls that I stopped, they were like, you go girl. I was like, oh, really? okay, <laughs> thank you. But yeah, they were oh. obviously um, aware. But anyway, um, so that little, that little matter happened and we kept walking and I was hoping that, it, you know, he would get better because actually it was a good idea and he was actually approaching, you know, women on the streets and he said, you know, we have to find hot girls because, you know, they make the best material, which is, you know, normally true. Right. And so we kept walking, but as we continued to walk down the street, he just kept making lewd comments to like like what, every girl what, he something, saw. Something about for example, there were some girls that he thought weren't good enough for the camera. There was one girl riding the bike, and he said, "Oh, you know, she, we can't, we can't interview her. She's, you know, she's working. She's going somewhere, riding her bike. And anyway, she's fat. She's obviously trying to sweat off the pounds. And so you know, she said he said that to her." To her. <laughs> to her. And what did she say to she that? She didn't say anything because she was kind of like riding by, but she was a foot away from his mouth. But did, did so she? Did sure. she? Did she didn't she, stop or anything. She, did she give him the bird? Or no, anything? she no? she was really obviously like into whatever, like wherever she was going. Right. So she didn't stop, but I know she heard her. It, she didn't have any headphones or anything. She was no. obvious okay. that she heard okay. her. Okay. Um, 
But he just berated people with kind of lewd comments. And some of the guys that were with girls that he was trying to hit on was not too pleased with that. And oh, a few of them How would he hit on the girls? What would he say? Well, he kind of just like approached him with the camera like, you're hot. Like, you know, you should be on camera. You know, you're... You know, so he was like, using the microphone right, as, as an means. intro, right. as a means to an right. end. Exactly. Their end. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, which worked out a few times. I, I'm not going to berate that. But oh, actually, really? What? Some, actually, some girls did talk time, to him? Well, no. Well, it's a two. It's a two-sided blade because for the, I was with them for about four blocks. None of the girls that he approached at that point talked to him for the time that I was with him. Um, at the end of the four blocks, when we stopped at the corner for Greg to set up, where he would post, you know, his position and kind of like lure people over by seeing the camera, um, he was able to get one girl. When, while I was with him, I'm sure there were other people that did do it, but for some reason, I don't, I didn't exactly. There was a lot of traffic going on, so it was hard to hear what she said. She said, she, you know, I want to be on camera, and we approached her, but. She wound up calling him an asshole. I think she, he said something. Was this a fat girl he said with a fat ass? No, on no, the no. Back? This, this is no, another. This girl. was another girl. But he oh, said something. Yeah. The girl was beautiful, but he said something lewd about her. I guess she wasn't up to his, you know, standard. So he said something lewd. Her, her tips friend, were too small. Something, something right. Yeah. Her friend, the a guy that was with her, calls him an asshole. Oh. And that's when I proceeded to see this as a bad start in the night. Uh, he was actually stopping traffic in the midst of, in the middle of the street. And so with the uh, microphone in his hand? No. He was he wasn't aware that he was in the middle of the street and that there were cars coming. So cars had he, to stop. He, he was really that drunk? Yeah, he was in the middle of the street and there were cars coming. Oh. And they had to stop, obviously, because they didn't want to hit him. And his friends were trying to get him. They were like, you know, Wilmer, you're in the middle of and the street. This and is the guy with the long black yeah, ponytail, Wilmer. right? And his friends were like, you know, you're really drunk, like you're in the middle of the street and you're gonna get like the cops are gonna come because most people don't know, but the precinct in Hoboken from where we were, Hudson and First, I guess, or yeah, Hudson and First, I, I suppose, uh, is only about two blocks away. One so, block. One block away. Right. So the police are right there. I mean, they monitor everything right, from that right. point. And his friend knew that. He said, you know, the cops are going to come and we're going to get in trouble. So at that point, um, I kind of got, like, you know, weary of the situation. And also, at the same point of us meeting that girl, there were six obvious gay men. <laughs> crossing in front of us when we were still on the other side of the street. How, what are obvious gay men? Tight jeans, tight shirts, um, gelled hair, the the walk, <laughs> which you may not be aware of the walk, but there is a walk. Um, on their way, obviously, to the cage, because it's the only bar on that block. The and cage is up. what? The cage is on Hudson. It's a gay bar that's on Hudson and, and First. Hudson, yeah. no, Hudson... No, River and River and Hudson. Right. And uh, they were obviously on their way there. Right. And he said very out loud, oh, we don't want those people, you know, those kind of people on our, you know, on film. We don't need them. And they hurt him. And I have seen many a look from Queens, but this was the look of death. If what do you had, call the look of death? The look you of mean death. They, they heard his they remark? They heard his remark. And, and they were if mad. If this could kill, he would be a pillar of salt. <laughs> That's what I mean by the look of death. He would literally have turned to stone or something horrible. Uh -huh. uh, and, but they kept walking because, I mean, they outnumbered us. And some of them were quite large. But, you know, queens hear that all the time, predominantly speaking. So who wants to stop and So get they, they weren't looking for a fight. They, yeah, just, they, were, they just, were just you know, looking I, to go into right, their bar and be right, left exactly. alone. Right, exactly. And, yeah, and be okay. left alone. So they kept walking. But um, at that point, I just decided that it wasn't a good idea to continue because we had gotten quite a few, like, we had gotten at least, like, four, like, I should fuck that guy up. And um, well, as now, who, who said guys, we should fuck straight men. Straight men? I, with, with this guy who's the leader or the, uh, who? No, just passerby? No, people that he had either not approached or people that had seen him berate other girls and have seen him talk about girls on the street. Oh, really? Has said, and actually... Oh, about did, fuck, if fucking this guy who... Wilmer, uh, right, Wilmer. He was oh, such an, he oh was not, such an fucking, not fucking the gay guys up. No, fucking Wilmer. Wilmer, because he was oh, such an outright... Oh. An obnoxious, I have to say asshole, because he was just extremely obnoxious. Let me just take a uh, picture above sure. your head for a moment of and actually, I told a picture a of my lover and I of 18 years I told who a group, died in 1990. A group of them to approach him. 
Yeah, you told <laughs> no, what? <laughs> jokingly, I told I told a group of guys to approach him. They, I was leaving. Oh, really? I was leaving, and they weren't going to. They were just like, that guy's being such an asshole. We should just go over there and like, you know, rough him up. And I said, oh well, you should. They obviously were going the opposite direction, but um, it was just you know out of spite because he was just. The so type so of was this guy just belligerent? Was it? He just, was just was completely. It, was it gay people? Uh, no, apparently it he's attacking people. women. He was just right. Attacking just, gay people looking right. for a fight. He was just very chauvinistic. Right. Very and, 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 and Greg Singer just playing just, the, the neutral journalist, yes. capturing it all, was simply following yes. along. He just seems like the journalist sent to Iraq with nothing to protect him but his camera. And hopefully, Which is no you know, protection. Exactly. <laughs> Once the riot and the bombing starts, your exactly. camera doesn't do you a bit of good, right? Exactly. So, you know, I, I felt bad for bowing out. But so how, I how did you bow out? I mean, I feel bad well, that I, 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 I asked you as a personal favor I to go out and pick up the... the, the right. I mean, I was but getting one, people to one, sign I releases. Paid, and I can't get well, paid for getting beat up. So, I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm sure... I'm, I don't have enough money to fix this face. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't. But anyway, I tried to get Greg's attention. But I was like, you know, Greg, Greg, Greg. But he was busy filming him in yeah. the midst of the street. And so Greg was a, you know, Greg was one with the camera, and the camera was focused on Wilmer. And right. also, I, I did try to get his attention. I did try to, like, you know, Greg. Well, like, I'm know, not making stuff. judgments like, on this, but you made a decision that for your own safety or for your own sanity or for whatever. What well, was your decision? <laughs> why? Why? Well, now here we have we have this promising Hoboken documentary maker who's actually in the finals for the WGBH prize and I ran out of steam after an hour and a half watching these straight boys hit on these girls right. and, and I mean I, I didn't have any problem with that I think it's right. wonderful boys hitting on girls you know That's sad thing is that. they don't they don't score many points when right. they hit on girls but I asked you to go out because I felt I had run out of steam to take my place and now you're telling me that you did and because of the Hoboken nightlife environment or the homophobia, the particular well, people involved, well, or what was it? Because, I mean, um, why didn't it work? Just because of Wilmer's overall belligerence. It wasn't just that he was belligerent to gay people, it's just that he was belligerent to girls that didn't meet his standards. He was belligerent right. to girls who did meet his standards and he was just being all to borrow, to borrow a term from those people that he was calling assholes, it sound, sounds to me like... Oh, no, they were calling Will him asshole. Oh, oh. They were calling him asshole. Well, then perhaps just their description of him was somewhat accurate. I think it was. So poor Greg Singer, a yeah, great, talented, I mean, Hoboken documentary maker, was actually... I mean, I'm sure he Actually... Unfortunately, I, following an asshole. Right. I'm sure he'll get great footage. However, the other I guys wonder, that were I there, wonder, I wonder. The other guys that were there, the the Latin guy who was, who was huge, he was maybe six two. Yeah. And the white guy that was there, who was six one. I mean, these were large men. Yeah. Are large men, and I'm five six, and maybe 145 pounds. Right. And uh, I can't count on them to protect my safety. <laughs> But, I mean, did, they the, they, were they friendly? I mean, no, they were friendly, and yeah. they were trying to get him to stop. But I can, I could completely Aww. foresee because I've seen fights so, happen so, in Hoboken. Right. I can completely see Wilner initiating a fight, maybe un, 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 unintentionally. So, so, so here we have the neutral documentary maker right. going out and being led down the primrose path to destruction by. Unfortunately, following right. this obnoxious, aggressive, confrontational, insulting, misogynistic, homophobic guy who's out to like really make war on the world and possibly pull, pull our great talented Greg Singer into that fight. Pretty much. Well, I want to thank you. Anything else you want to say about your experience um, as a volunteer in documentary and Hoboken nightlife? I, I would like to do it again, just as long as Wilmer's, Wilmer's not there. <laughs> I think I would have had great fun had Wilmer not been there because, one, I think I made good bait for the girls there. 
Um, like so I the said, girl, the girls thought you were cute, or came uh, the, on to the you? girls. That, the girls when I was looking for Greg, um, the girls that I had asked, you know, had they seen a the guy with the camera? They said yes, and they said, you know, he's you're two steps behind him. They said, you know, you're really, you're really cute. You're re one girl said I was really cute. The other girl said I was really sexy. Now, but it was now I, these are heterosexual girls heterosexual that, who have no idea that you're a homosexual no, no, they man. Knew. No, they knew. Oh, they knew. They knew. They said, oh, you're Fag so hags on loose no, on the streets no, of Hoboken? No, they weren't fag hags. Oh. I mean, they were just being, oh. you know, they obviously knew I was gay. I right. mean, they said, oh, one girl said, you're really cute. And the other girl said, you're really sexy. And I was like, oh, thank you. And, they, and as they were, like, walking away from me, they said, oh, you go, girl. So oh. it was obvious that they were aware that I was gay. I wasn't trying to hide it. The many layers like, of Hoboken. Oh, of right. course. There are many layers there. Are. Now, now <laughs> could, could I give this tape to Greg Sinner, mm. Singer and allow him? him to possibly incorporate this of modest this modest mini DV yes. tape shot in my home yes. before I pass out from exhaustion. From I give you my video acknowledgement uh, that I, I waive my and rights. And Greg Singer's all video. rights to publish this yes. this testimonial to the way, world. In any way he would, in any in way, way he would like. Uh, I'll let, uh, However, if he does use my image in some kind of sexual promotion, then I no. <laughs> but no, otherwise, don't, don't put <laughs> stupid things like that. Was, There's nothing it's sexual. A joke, There's Randy. nothing sexual about WGBH. Uh, Please, oh, no, maybe if WGBH was more sexual, it would be better. But there it, isn't. Just oh, he say, can, just say he about, has the right to use this video in any can way. Talk about girls going in wild any way that he and, and, that he and desires. And hitting the hose at three o'clock in the morning, but I can't make a sexual joke. <laughs> I don't well, I don't know. It'd be interesting to watch a, bl a fey black man like to be chased by the hoes that are desperate for a man oh, they have. in the morning. And that's another story. I've gotten oh, a lot of action oh. in, in, in the cage, the gay bar here at Hoboken, from straight women. So oh, that's really? Another, you know, oh. That's oh, there's a whole scene about Hoboken nightlife we haven't even covered. But I digress. But well, that's my story. Well, I will, certainly, I will certainly share it with Mr. Greg Sinner, Singer, our great Hoboken documentary maker as of this time until of course I replace him of course of course thank you